Congratulations on the purchase of your new Revolve 360 rotational all-in-one car seat. One of the great features of this revolutionary seat is its easy one-time installation, which we'll cover today. For the purposes of this video, I'll reference the Evenflow Gold Revolve 360. But keep in mind, the same easy installation instructions apply to all Revolve 360 car seats in US and Canada. Before you begin, it's important to thoroughly review the owner's manual that came with your Evenflow Revolve 360. When you're done reviewing the owner's manual, be sure to store it in the rear of the car seat for easy reference as your child grows and her use of the seat changes. You can also use the QR code located under the leg rest. There are two options for installing your Evenflow Revolve 360, seatbelt and tether or lower anchors and tether, also known as latch or UAS. The seatbelt and tether is the preferred method for an easy one-time installation. In this video, we will review the steps to install the Revolve 360 in a forward-facing mode with lower anchor and tether. We'll start by getting the Revolve 360 ready for installation. You'll only install the base of the car seat, so we'll remove the car seat from the base now. Squeeze the rotation handle on either side of the headrest and rotate the seat so the arrows are lined up for removal. The red arrow on the leg rest flap lines up with either white arrow on the car seat base for removal. Lift the seat to remove. The tether is always used for installation in rear-facing and forward-facing harness modes. To begin, detach the tether from the storage location underneath the base. Place the base on your vehicle seat. The tether strap can be placed across the top of the vehicle seat. We'll attach this at the end of the installation. Next, detach each lower anchor from the storage position on the back side of the base. Squeeze the handle of the lock strong belt tensioner until the indicator turns red and raise the handle. Attach each lower anchor connector to the corresponding anchor bar in the vehicle. While using one hand to push firmly on the base, use your other hand to pull the lower anchor strap to tighten the lower anchor connectors. Using both hands, push down on the lock strong belt tensioner. The indicator will turn green when the lock strong is fully closed. To check your installation for tightness, grab the base near the belt path and try to move it side to side. It should not move more than one inch. If the base moves more than one inch, Try the installation again. If it still moves more than an inch, you may need to try a different seating position in the vehicle or switch to an installation with the seat belt and tether. Check your vehicle owner's manual for the appropriate tether anchor location in your vehicle. Attach and tighten the tether strap. Now you're ready to reattach your car seat to the base. The head pillow and body pillow should not be used in forward facing mode, so remove those now if you haven't done so already. Start by lining up the red arrow with either one of the white arrows on the base as you place the car seat down. After placing the car seat on the base, squeeze the recline handle to put the car seat in the fully reclined position before rotating it into forward facing mode. When the car seat is in a locked position, the indicators on both sides of the base will turn green. Check each time you put your child into the car to ensure that the indicators are green once you've rotated the car seat into a locked travel position. There's only one recline position in forward facing mode. The car seat must remain in this fully upright position. And that's a wrap. Enjoy the 360 degrees of rotation and easy in and out of this revolutionary car seat.